Ooh, welcome! Do I have that on? No, I don't. Good, I muted it again. Thank goodness for that. <laughs> well, well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the World Series of Poker. This is going to be a seven-week extravaganza, and we are on Friday. Friday, yes, we are skipping the seven-card world stud. We are not going to be playing that. Oh, of course, that's why. No, no bloody wonder. I'm sitting here wondering why there's a delay. <laughs> what the hell's going on? I well, While I try to fix this, let me explain what we're doing here. World Series of Poker, seven-week extravaganza. All right, there's week seven. The main event will be in the seventh week. We are on week one, and we are doing Poker Brats versus the world for our debut season of the World Series of Poker. This game stands the test of time. I love this game. I keep coming back to it every summer when I watch poker, when I play poker. Uh, I come back to this game because it's just so fun. Uh, you would think that by now I know exactly how to play this game and win, but as you can see from my results, I mean, I'm all over the board, right? I mean, the first first one uh, taken down by Jennifer Tilly gives a bracelet to the world. The second one, Rolando Wolf, takes the second bracelet for the world. Third one, Scatty Win gets the third bracelet for the world. We were down three to nothing. Me and my uh, good friend Film Helmuth, I don't actually know him in real life. I would love to if you, if anyone's watching that knows him, hook me up. Um, me and Phil Helmuth, my video game friend, both made the final table. I think Phil Helmuth got fourth, I got first, and I took down the bracelet. We decided to skip the world championship for the seven card stud because of my previous result, which was not very good. Uh, and we are going to move on to No Limit Hold'em, six-handed for 1500 For the bracelets right now, we stand at one to three. The world is kicking our trash. We need to bounce back. And um, that's what we're going to try to do here with uh, this little tiny tournament. This is going to cost me 3500 So we've m made it past week one. We got a little bit of a net gain there. We earned, uh, let's see how much, it was uh, 1500 and I think... I earned, if I could do math, it would be m much better, but I think I earned like 20000 there. Uh, so no biggie there. One thing I did want to talk about, the current World Series of Poker is going on, and of course these are uh, a, a little delayed because I had to edit them and upload them and all that other fun stuff. But as of now, a Poker Pro has won a bracelet at the World Series of Poker. Raz Event, Max Pescatori this summer has won a bracelet for the Raz Event. Also in that final field, I think about the final 10 people, Sydney Violet and Elia Lezra, two pros, very, very good. And of course, Max Pescatori taking it down. There were a lot of other pros that I saw mixed in. Greg Merson, of course, being one of the, the bigger names in the past couple of years, uh, past few years. And he is in the lead for Player of the Year points. And I think that was it. I don't. And Brandon Cantu got like ninth in a uh, 1500 limit poker type thing, which is live streaming right now. And this is another great thing that I didn't know that I now know is um, they're live streaming these events. Nobody told me this. Nobody told me that they were live streaming this this stuff, man. Come on now, step your game up. Tell me about this stuff. All right. If they start talking, I'm gonna go and run and grab a Dr Pepper or something. Welcome to oh, and I can't hear it now. Damn it. <laughs> There's no stop to the action at the World Series of Poker, and today's action begins with the right. first day of a new event. The players are going to play six-handed, no-limit Texas Hold'em today. All right, six-handed, no-limit Texas Hold'em. I'm going to let them continue the intro, and I'm going to go grab drink. The privilege of competing for a bracelet, player of the year points, and a substantial prize pool. Welcome to the World Series of Poker. All right. Who's that? Who is that? Who are we playing? All right, well, there's a poker brat if I've ever seen one. A whole lot of nobodies here. A whole lot of nobodies. All right, so we are... Uh, this is six-handed. It's a different animal. Six-handed is... Uh, uh, you want to play a, a more hands. No, thanks. 10-20... We're starting with uh, 1,500 chips. This is pretty much the basic uh, starting limit for uh, the website that I currently use. 
Um, big news in that too earlier today. So I won I won the bracelet last night in the video game, and I got fifth place or so out of 77 people, and I turned 55 cents into six dollars and 55 cents. So I mean I, I made six bucks today on my uh, poker website. So I feel really awesome about that. I'm in a poker mood. That's why we're doing the World Series of Poker, and that's why we are here. Uh, Six-handed goes a little quicker, I would imagine. So I guess we can take some time. Ace, three, five, two clubs on the board. And a raise, and he, and he shows king five. Maybe he was nervous about the ace. All right, under the gun, we'll fold it away. A free electron in a bowl of proton soup would have a better chance. I fold. Call, call, call. It'll be interesting to see if anyone can make something. Four out jack of seven. We get a raise from Chad. Eddie calls. Eddie Graves Eddie is now gonna have to travel Brave Waters, and he doesn't. Eddie Graves looks nice, man. Let's He's got that nice suit on. Here's the next card, Chad of the Bear next card, shows Queen Ten, so he hit the Queen, and I think it just showed a seven on the it was either a seven or a jack uh so chad bear would have had a two pair there i don't know what eddie had but he probably wouldn't have been able to beat it eight jack it's good enough to defend especially in six-handed so we get a raise from alex now we're, we're gonna play this hand so we're gonna let it go ted king calls uh-oh see there's a uh, 1200 okay so 1152 people this one. In this tournament, it's a two-day tournament, of course. Why? Why didn't I think so? All right, we'll call. I will call, baby. We will call. And now Discounted we'll price for us. <sighs> well, we got the bottom end of that. Uh, as Roland DeWolf has the chip lead, Homer Thompson second, and Eustace Gabraith third. All right, Jack eight. Um, let's check it down. Jack's good. Alex is aggressive, I think he'll raise. No, he checks in Ted. No way. All right, well, are they trapping us? And here comes the hmm. Card. Oh, beautiful. See what happens clubs. when you don't raise when you have Fortune the money? All right, let's go 60 again. We're going to shoot a double barrel of 60 at him. Hey, let's keep it interesting at least. Fold from Alex. Call from Ted King. His name must be giving me a clue. I bet he's got the king. I bet he has it, and that's the only reason he checked. And last but not least, the river. Seven helps nobody. Anywhere, anytime. I'm going to shoot it up to 120, see if we can get $120 from him. That's 310. 310 of 120 is about a third. About 40% maybe. And we get a call from Ted King. We got trip eights. He had the ace. Wow. Well... Your aces and eights aren't good enough to beat my trip eights, so give me my money. <laughs> I don't even know what I said there. All right, king-queen, it's good in the small blind. Raised by Ted King. I'm folding this one. Blimey, I'm in. Yeah, Conrad, you're not Australian. I don't believe you. <laughs> Blimey, I'm in. I don't believe that he's Australian. And that's his damn twin brother right there. Him and Chad look exactly the same. All right, I'm going to call with King-Queen. King-Queen's a good pair of high cards. Alex is in. Look at the uh, uh, resemblance. Oh, I, you can't right now, but... We'll see the resemblance between Chad and, I believe, Conrad. Three, five, eight. Three, I have two five, overs eight. in the lead. Oh, Judy Little, I've never heard of her. Liz Lou and Chandler Cooper. All right, uh, I'm checking. Check, please. Alex raises out of nowhere. Interesting. I wonder what he's got. Maybe a pocket pair that he limped in with. Conrad looks just like Chad Bear. He folds as well. I'm going to fold as well. I'll take my 250 positive right now for the tourney. And I'll keep it. I'm not going to give it to uh, the man on my left. Alright, so here we go. Look at them. Look how similar they look. Right? See, there's Conrad. Little white goatee. Nice brown complexion. And there's his brother. They're the same dude. 
Oh man, now I got hiccups. He tosses them in. Alex re-raising here the raise from Conrad. Ted King gets out of the way. Conrad re-raises. Wow, we might be in uh, we, the battle of the pocket pairs here territory. Ace King versus Kings. Ace King versus Aces. Aces versus Kings. Kings versus Queens. <laughs> and there's two Queens right there on the flop. Alex checks. Conrad checks. They both check. Moving to the turn. Deuce of Hearts helps Deuce nobody hearts. nowhere. N nobody hit that. You don't double raise with Ace Five, so I don't believe neither. I don't think that that's the cards they have right there. Check, check. I think we're. I think we have a battle of two kings here. We have Ace King and Ace King taking each other out. Uh, trip leaders Tammy Ivan Smith. Never heard of her either. Mary Peterson and Joe Aronson. Ooh, we get a raise here from Conrad with a five. Did he have ace five? That's interesting. Alex calls. We're going to get to see it. Good. I love information. King Jack versus six seven off suit. What in the blue hell? Was he raising about? Alex Nauer just rips apart Conrad because Conrad doesn't know what the hell he's doing. Alex, I mean, he didn't expect anyone to have a queen. He didn't believe the low because of the double, the, because of the raises. It makes total sense. I don't know what Conrad was doing. I smell a fish, and he's from Australia, and his name's Conrad Garcia. His twin brother Chad's gonna fold. I'm gonna follow suit. Going to the flop now. Six, Jack. Six. Board shows a queen pair four. of sixes. Yeah. Totally missed it. Check, check, check. There's a queen. Check, check, check. There's a seven. And Conrad tried to steal it again with seven six. He got lucky at the end there. Alex had seven four. Absolutely nothing. He limped in with garbage the cards these people are playing with I think I'm gonna get through this table very easily alright 510 it's not good enough maybe if I were in the big blind I would uh, defend it but definitely not under the gun good fold by me we get a raise by Ted King and a call by Conrad or sorry Eddie I didn't sorry Eddie I forgot you were there we get a check from Ted, and Eddie, if he raises here, might be able to take it down. Raise to 280. Ted King folds. Good, good. Alright, big blind, 5-4 off suit. Alex raises. We get a call and a call. Oh, you know what? We're going to call it here. It's not great, but it is six-handed, and it's 5-4. It's low, and they might have high cards. So we'll at least call. Okay. 3-4-5-6. Three, three, so we have an up-and-down straight draw. We have a pair of fives to boot. I don't think anyone has a six, but just in case, we will call the raise of Chad Bear. Ted King out. And there's a four. So now we have two pair. So a five or a four gives us a... Oh, Scotty's in the lead. Rolanda Wolf is, is close by. And Phil Gordon, not too far behind him. Uh, so here we go. We got a five or a four for a full house. Uh, a two for a straight. Seven for a straight. Although I would much prefer a two to be on the uh, river. I'm definitely calling. Definitely. I don't think he thinks that I have two pair. He could have two spades that might beat me. But if it's a six of spades, I'm going to laugh my ass off. Six of spades, please. Please. Not six of spades, sorry, four of spades. Oh, it's a six of diamonds. Pretty close. All right, now I've got two pair. I've got sixes and fives. Now he's raising like crazy. Pocket pair scares me here. I did, the six really screwed me, I think. But we're going to take a hit. We're going to see if we win. Damn it. I knew it. I knew it. I had him. I had him on the turn. Pocket kings. Motherfucker. Well. 
That's what we get for playing a losing hand. We had a good we had a good run at it though. We were playing the right poker there. Hopefully someone's pair. Let's Chad Bear takes it down with aggression. A seven. It's good, uh, Conrad Garcia. You know what? Uh, I was gonna raise all in. That would have been foolish. The tilt inside of me is going nuts. All right, fold, fold. We gotta call it. Ooh, I call. We gotta call it. It's an ace. Six-handed. That's good. Nothing. Ah, you got it. You got it, Alex. You got it, Alex. Natural selection at work, people. That was fucking rude. <laughs> Excuse my language, but natural like selection work at work? That was rude. No thanks. Give me a 10 minute penalty. I don't care. That guy just said that I was inferior to him. I have a bracelet on, sir. Oh. Speaking of, bracelet winner Jennifer Tilly. Uh, third place in the tournament now. I'll call this. Ace 3 8. Ooh, Chad Bear again taking it down with aggression. We'll fold. Ted King wins some back. Dr. Pepper was a poor choice as I am recording. I should have went with something lighter. 475. Pair of fives. King. I would have hit nothing. All in, and look at the aggression from Chad Bear. This is a good little pair, isn't it? Um, we'll call it. Hopefully, we see a flop. Very risky. Spade, spade, spade. Come on, spades. Eight, nine, ten of spades. There's a couple spades. I think I've got to go all in here. I've got to push all in. If they if they don't think I have a king or an ace, they'll fold. Beautiful. Beautiful. And we'll just take down a pot there. 5-7 off suit. We'll fold. We'll get out of the way. Conrad is all in. The Jamaican... Uh, sorry, Jamaican. The Australian who decided to bluff was 7-8 off. Uh, he's about to get called by Ted King, who I'm sure has a king in his hand. He does! Oh my goodness. This man is a walking gimmick. He has the lead over Queen 8. He's got the lead over Queen 8. Let's see here. What do we got? What do we got? 8, 10, Jack. Wow, 8, 9, 10, Jack. Ooh, man. A Queen. A 7. There's the King. It's over. It's academic. A 9. There, there's a lot of things that it could pop up. It's not enough, though. Conrad goes home. 10s and 8s. Not enough for Conrad Garcia. And Ted King will eliminate Conrad. There he goes. We're down to five-handed now. We've got pocket aces. Here's what we're going to do, okay? We're going to min-raise. Min-raise. Throw the bait out there. We want to get the pot up without a raising suspicion. Min-raise says, hey, I've got something good, but it's not good enough. You probably are going to beat me. We get a call from Alex Nauer. We gotta be careful about how we play this. The computer can sniff out aces. Please. Good. No flush. No flushes. Uh, as maybe a straight threat, but I don't see anything that's really threatening. We get a raise from Ted King. I'm gonna actually min raise him and pop it right back. Because if he does have Queen 10, I don't want him to get an easy turn card. And he does fold, so we're going to take it down. And uh, that that's good. That's good. We're back to 1,100. Blinds aren't too crazy, so we're still in a good spot. 7-4 off. We're going to fold that. Ooh, three to the flop. Oh, man, all in. Eddie Graves, King-9, Alex Nauer, Jax. It's not enough. He needs a 9 or a King... Oh, or a diamond. Nine king or diamond. Six of spades. Now an eight. Going Nine king, diamond, or eight. Oh, not enough. Jack, or er, sorry, Jack Nauer. Alex, I, th I was thinking Jack Bauer, and he had a pair of jacks. Uh, Alex Nauer wins with a pair of jacks. Eddie Graves, gone. One more elimination until we get a new table here. 
Ace 10, it's good. It's good, and I've got to repop Alex Nauer a lot here, because he might not have anything. Four-handed, this is a premium hand. All right, four, seven, four, deuce. Seven, deuce. That is one ugly All right, uh, I went. I'm gonna go two forty this time. If he's going to play, he wants to make it worth his Fold, time. Alex. Thank you. We'll just take it down with awesome. aggression. Oh, <laughs> um, I'm just gonna call this time. And now we'll go to the flop. Please, no ace. Damn it! It's right there. It, Eight. I should have raised. Why didn't I raise? Well, we got a leaderboard. Lance Boyle, Letitia Howell, no David bet. Cohen. Check. Check. I need to raise up 120. Fold, fold. Damn it. That was a horrible uh, flop for those. I fold. But it's really gotten us back to where we originally were. So. Ted King goes all in. Everyone fold. 610 suited. Everyone's involved in that. Okay, I'm out. <laughs> I will fold. You guys have convinced me to give up my big blind. Normally, I would uh, call it. Might be a bad decision. Seven, eight, nine diamonds would make it a horrible, horrible decision. Deuce, ten, six. All right, two pair. That's what I missed out on. But uh, yeah, that was bad. Bad decision. I should have stayed in. All in for That's Ted it. King, who I'm in. certain has a king in his hand. Alex will call. Come on, Ted King, show me the king. Oh, Jack 10. Alex has the king with king four. He's got the over. Okay, three, two, three, four. So he needs a five or a king here. And it's an eight. Ted King doubles up. Wow, he actually triples up. He, he got a lot more than that. All right, ace five suited. It's good. I like it. Ted King is on the rise here, and now he's thinking a little bit too long. It makes me nervous. I can bet. Makes me nervous when Ted King starts raising like that. Re-raise from Chad Blair. I have to call it because of the flush option. Four-handed. It's a great starting hand. There's straight draws. Maybe a random cheeky five. Ted King actually folds. He was bluffing. Or at least he did, he thought that his hand was totally beat. Eight, three, nine. I miss everything there. I check. Chad? Okay, he's going to give it to us. That's not good for him. Pair of eights. It shouldn't change anything. He should still check. Otherwise, something fishy's going down. Okay, something very odd is going down here. Something very strange. I have an ace. Does he have only a king? Does he have an ace as well? Is it worth my whole tournament life? I don't think so. I'm going to fold it. I don't think it's worth my tournament life. Yeah, it would have been three eights, but I don't think he had an eight. Alright, ace seven. Uh, I'm going to raise. Maybe Alex will get out of the way. He does not. Uh, yeah, that was pretty bad. That was pretty bad. I thought I would get Ted King all the way. It's between me and Ted King who's moving on to the next spot. Deuce three off is insulting. Alex Nauer raises. Ted King re raises. Alex calls. Deuce Jack four. Check from Ted King. Raise from Alex Nauer, and he takes it down with a pair of jacks. 4-5 off is not good enough. I fold. Oh, Alex, you're priced in to call. He does. King 7. Ace jack. He only has king 7. Suited. <laughs> yeah, smooth, Norman Chad. Ace jack, jack. Oh my god, nuts on the flop. It's over. It's over. Yeah. Ted King. Dead man draw. Ted King going to double up again. Wow, on the flop. That's crazy. Deuce nine. Are you kidding me? I'll fold. Alright, once again, we got Ted King in a hand here. 
And Ted King goes all in and he wins more money. I'm in trouble here if he, if he keeps going crazy like this. Count me out. The blinds aren't even very high. Ted King goes all in. Alex calls. He has 7-6 off suit. This is the hand that he had earlier. And Alex, I guess, doesn't remember because he calls it. 8-7. Oh, two pair. Now they might split. The sixes are worthless now. There's a four. They sp Oh, they don't split. Yeah, it had to be higher. Okay, that was the deal. It had to be higher than a... Uh, uh, an eight, right? I think so. It had to be higher than whatever. It had to be like a queen or something, and they would split. There were a lot of cards that would split that. But Alex Nauer wins because it was a low card, and uh, he knocks out Ted King. Wow, I actually survived that. I cannot believe I survived that. I watch a lot of poker, Lon, but I never learn as much. As Joseph Hashem. The world champion. We knock this guy out of the tournament. Or did we? I don't remember getting his chip. I remember, um, Lusk. I don't remember getting Hashem's chip. I think he was knocked out by somebody else. Maybe, uh, Phil Homeuth? I don't remember. But we played with this guy two days ago. I can bet. He was at the final table. He lost. I won. My shiny gold bracelet right here. I got it. I think I have it on my, uh, right arm. Good. Wow, the re-raises in this are ridiculous, man. I I like I just really need to wait for um the nuts. Well, uh, speed ahead cuz I want to show you my bracelet. Do you see my bracelet? It's right there on my left arm. It's right on my left arm. Do you see it right there? Do you see it right by my chips? Do you see my bracelet? It looks like a gold watch. Oh, isn't it pretty? Isn't it pretty? I took one down for the poker breaths. Hashem involved in a hand here. I think he uh, re-raised and Marty called. And now he checks. Marty Player will check. Some clubs out there. All right, there's kings. There's clubs. I'll give up. Joe gives up. He says. All right, two, two pair. pair. Who's there. got the high card or the five? Ooh, a flush! Wow, he had a flush. What? Why wouldn't you pump that man? All right, pocket nines. This is it. This is it. This is our time. This is our time here. Pocket nines. We're going all in. All in. There is no turning back now. We're going to pick up some good money here. Lacey is going to isolate. She wants me. She wants all of me. Uh, Marty folds. Nines versus queens. <gasps> oh, my God. I'm crushed. Spades. Spades. A seven. Ten. Eight. Oh Seven, my god. Eight of, eight, of eight of spades. 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 Oh, it's a seven! I need a nine, and only a nine now. Oh, it's an eight. We're out. We're out. No. Damn it. Lacey Schwartz whooping our ass. The rookie. No help well, I think we made it halfway through the tournament there, right? About halfway. That sucks, man. But we got some event points. Scotty, no. I do not want to be involved with you. All right. Well, let's see. We we didn't we didn't win that one. We didn't win that one, but that's okay. We got some points there. Uh, winner to be determined. Uh, winner to be determined. We are uh, losing one to three with the bracelets here against the world, the poker brats, me and Phil Helmuth, and a couple of others who are random generated people in this game. Uh, we're going to be playing this one tomorrow, Saturday, manana. We will be playing this tournament, and it will be released on my YouTube channel. Uh, so until then, tomorrow's going to be exciting because it's a low amount of entrance, which is, is good for me. I mean, I, I took down the Limit Hold'em, uh, the first one. And uh, it's low, it's for 2,000, it's cheap, there's 108 people. Uh, I feel, I feel like I can win this. And we're gonna try to win it. We can look at the player of the year standings. So, Roland Wolf in first by about 50 points. Men win, Scotty win, Gwendolyn Knight, Rocky Singer, Dan Pack, Josh Ario, Phil Gordon, Chris Jesus Ferguson, and uh, Jennifer Harmon. 
We are down a little bit, but not too much. Uh, oh, they're only updated when the events are fully completed. Okay, so I am going to get a little more points. Uh, so yeah, we'll be th doing that tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to record it immediately, though, so I won't have any updates. That being said, ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned for tomorrow, because we're going to get a lot of great results from these tournaments. Until then, Derek D. Ginger King, checking out.